Hello, hi, welcome to Study Clinic. In this episode, we are going to study about the healthy life, lesson 1, class 7. This lesson is a fantasy story, it was written by Pedro Pablo Sacristan. The writer is from Madrid, you know, the capital city of Spain. He was born in 1973. And you will get the more information about this writer in the description below. In this episode, we have a special guest. Before I introduce him, let us do one warm-up activity. I will show you some pictures. You have to observe it carefully and you have to listen the text I read. Are you ready? So here is the text. I get up early in the morning with my friend Mohan, I go for a walk. We walk by the side of a river. It is very pleasant then. The air is cool and fresh. The birds chirp in the trees. The farmers go to the field with their oxen. The milkmen carry milk to the city. Some men do exercises on the banks of the river. Soon, the sun rises in the east. It is a charming sight. After getting back, I take bath and get ready to go to the school. I feel fresh and happy throughout the day. Morning walk is really very good for health. Have you related the text with the pictures? Good. Now, you have to write a small passage based on that picture. Are you ready? So you can begin with like I get up in the morning and I go for a walk with my friend. So like that you have to build a small passage. So that is the task for you. Are you ready? Good. Let us welcome Dr. Fit and Healthy on our study clinic. So please welcome. So here is our guest Dr. Fit and Healthy. Dr. Fit and Healthy, basically you are a doctor and I request you to give some health tips to our learners and also I request you to share your ideas, your experience in the story of healthy life because you are the hero of that uh, fantastic story. Can you please share your experiences and ideas with our learners? Please, of course. I'm very happy to be here in the study clinic. The first suggestion I give you all is uh, whenever you go outside, please wear mask and keep physical distance so that we can defeat Corona together. First of all, I will share the experience of my story like your teacher said. After that, I will give you some health tips so that you can be fit and healthy. Like me? Not bad. He will take you through the stories. I'll be back. Dear learner, I hope you have read the story in your textbook. I will share my experiences. Okay? Many years ago, people were very happy and healthy because they ate uh, good food like fruits, vegetables. They got up early in the morning. They were doing a lot of exercises. They were working very hard. They were leading happy and healthy life. But by looking at this, one of the witches became very furious. She was very angry. She called all the witches together. They planned to destroy the happiness of people. One night, they gathered in a forest. They wanted to make a potion, a magical potion. And they were doing uh, the potion and they were uh, gathering all the energy from the witches. But one of the witches made a mistake in uttering one word. Because of that mistake, there was a big explosion in the forest and all the witches were destroyed. But these witches were trapped in a small bottle and the bottle was lying in a swamp. One day, one boy found this bottle. He thought this must be a very new juice. 
so he drank all the solution after that the witch started working in his body though they did not harm him physically they started to change his mind they started to change his likes and dislikes the boy was no longer did like eating fruits and vegetables or no longer did he enjoy doing exercises all the thing he wanted is junk foods like pizza burger and other things and he was no longer enjoying going outside of the house he was just sitting and wasting time all the way one of the worst thing is that the witches started to jump from one person to another person and like this all the people on the planet became so ill so unhealthy and they started wasting their life this disease was called as wasting life disease as a doctor i was very unhappy and i wanted to find a solution for this so i did lot of experiments and researches for this and i found that the these witches were doing all these things so after many discovery i found that doing lot of exercises and eating good food like fruits and vegetable will do the work if the people start eating fruits and vegetables and get up early in the morning and do some exercises they will end up well being cured of this wasting life this is that was fantastic experience so i suggest to you all that you have to get up early in the morning and you have to do some exercises yoga works you have to eat good food like fruits vegetables and you have to avoid junk foods soft drinks ice creams of course so by doing this you can be very happy very healthy very fit okay so that was my experience by the way where is your teacher so i am here so how was the experience very interesting right thank you dr fit and healthy for coming to our study clinic studio and spending your time with our learner and sharing your experience with the, our learner so once again thank you dear learner i hope you have understood the story of healthy life by dr fit and healthy Meanwhile I have read the lesson twice From the lesson I have some favorite words list Let's understand those words My first favorite word is furious What do you mean by furious Furious means great anger very angry The second favorite word is potion a liquid or a solution which is having magical or healing or poisonous properties are called as potion and the next word is spell what do you mean by spell the magical effect is called as spell another word is trap a bad situation from which one cannot escape is called as trap and the next word is swamp an area of soft wet land or wet mud is called as swamp and my next favorite word is ah! sneeze that's what sneeze means and my last favorite word is witch an imaginary fairy tale character is witch a woman thought to have magic powers especially evil or bad ones popularly depicted as wearing black outfit pointed hat and flying on a broomstick so these are the favorite words from the story dear learner in the textbook we have v1 and v2 activity that is vocabulary 1 and vocabulary 2 activity both are very easy if you read the lesson you can solve those activities so i leave it to you for homework and next we have comprehension 1 and comprehension 2 questions as usual you have to read the lesson and you have to find the answers for those questions if you still not able to find the answer you can find the answer in the description below 
dear learner now let us move to an important competency of this lesson that is singular and plural forms of countable and uncountable nouns so first let us understand what is countable noun and uncountable noun as you know noun is naming words in naming words some are countable for example egg dog man we can count one egg two eggs three eggs like that so these nouns are called as countable nouns and some nouns cannot be counted for example water we cannot count water so we don't say waters and salt we cannot count salt or sugar so we say one spoon of sugar not sugars or one spoon of salt not salts so these are uncountable nouns you can find more examples for uncountable nouns in the textbook and in the countable nouns we have still two categories that is irregular and regular forms for irregular forms we have separate plural words we don't get plurals by adding s es ves or ies we have separate words for plural and singular in irregular forms for example person is singular and we have people for plural we don't add s or es like persons it's a wrong usage and similarly for fish we have fish we don't have any other word for plural so these are called as irregular forms and you can find more irregular forms in your textbook with this i conclude today's lesson please like share and subscribe for more lessons with this this is sunil signing off from study clinic bye